Hello, the bell popping this deep. I checked to this video about hood vlogs. This is Welcome to the Bronx, NYC hood vlogs. Okay, so we're about to see what NYC's hoods is looking like. I'm interested to see. I've never been to um, New York City. I've been to New York, the state, but I've never been um, to New York City. So I definitely want to visit one day. You know, I want to see what y'all hoods is looking like. I want to go to all the uh, bodegas. <laughs> and see what y'all food is looking like. You know what I mean? So let's see uh, this Bronx hood. Let's watch. Okay. Uh, y'all could get up out here with this music though. Oh, I want to see the LA hood. Where y'all went? Oh, I need to watch this video. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's a beautiful day out here in the Bronx. I'm going to introduce you to some of my good people out here. Charlie Cole here. We in the Bronx, New York. My hood, 174th in the concourse, Louis Morris apartment. And I'm going to take y'all on the tour and show y'all what my hood really like. This is where everybody came together at. We have our cookout still right here. It looks a lot different. It was way more spacious. They kind of made the thing come closer. It used to be a hoop right here. And I used to hang out with all the little boys. And I used to play ball with them and stuff like that. And it was a lot going on, fights, shootouts. This is where I remember J. Lo shot her um, Made in Manhattan movie right here on these steps. She walked through here, she was on that two bus, and she walked through here, and me and my little brother were sitting right here on this thing right here. And this is the steps that, that's right there, it's called Walton, it's called Dub City. Um, shit is crazy over here, that's why you see the cameras down there. Shit gets crazy. These steps legendary. The slopes like I said it looks very different because we used to play ball right here it used to be way more space they kind of made it come up a little bit more and up here my mom's used to call me from that that you see that top window the window under it the 12th floor my mom's used to call me from that window <laughs> and embarrass the fuck out of me <laughs> at seven o'clock every day she used to call me and embarrass me like charisma get upstairs all of us my brother used to trap out the dumpsters right there and I used to tell him when the boys was coming. I used to be like, you're <laughs> The dumpster's right there. And the door used to be able to open. Look, it's still open. We're and it leads you, okay. It leads you to the inside of the building. We couldn't leave the block because we always had to have somebody watching us. So we used to play right here. It's called Dub City, but it's really Walton. See, J-Lo shot. Made in Manhattan in that apartment right there. I'll take you guys over there. That's how big the rats are over here. Why we can't see? I want to see. Never mind, I don't want to go. I don't like rats. Can you imagine playing and seeing a big ass rat like that? Oh. It was the grittiest part of the Bronx. So Denzel shot over here too. If you look at the movies, you'll see this right here. If you turn around you and you get this view and you look at the movies, you'll see this right here. And you'll also see that back there. Right here is where she shot at. When she came through here, everybody was going crazy. I was supposed to be an extra, but for some reason they cut me out of her movie, whatever. Damn. I'm still mad about it, but whatever. <laughs> Down here is Jerome, and this is where everything you need to have done for your car, this is where you're going to come, to Jerome. It's like 100,000 car shops right here where you could come get anything done to your car for the low. The Dominicans is going to hook you up. This they block right here. This is what they do. There's six cars on this block. <laughs> That's the four train. Anywhere you want to go in the Bronx, get on the four train on my side. I'm from the west. That's the east past the concourse. Um, my little brother was going to that hospital. This is Bronx Lebanon. Um, that's Walton. That's the other side of Walton right there. This is the Major Deegan. The highway takes you to Jersey and it takes you um, to City Island. It takes you deeper down in the Bronx. Me and my little brother, when we wanted to get away from the hood, or, well, not the hood, but we wanted to get away from the block, to come here and play in this park right here. There's so many parks around here that we used to play in because we don't have a park on my block. So we used to come here. It looks very different, but this is where we used to come. Look at that, mad traffic, always, that's the major thing. That's 
about the burn now. sandwich if you're Muslim? The line used to be all the way down there, but it was free. You so we used to come, juice? apple the juice, or the, the chocolate milk uh -huh. I used to get was my shit. <laughs> come here, get some pizza, some Elio pizza, what? and it was lit. You don't get crowned if you talk about school lunch, free lunch. Yeah. It's a real thing. And you got mad kids. You can't feed seven. How are you going to feed seven kids by yourself? Come on. You need millions to do that. Mom just ain't wasn't home to cook. Like this is Mount Eden. This is legendary. If you're from the Bronx, you know. If you're from the Bronx, you know Mount Eden. They on their bike like shit heavy over here. Everybody ride bikes. It's regular. Now we headed to the concourse. That's the concourse. That's where I'm from. When it's a hot day like this, these motherfuckers is open. Oh, these shit. But it usually. They usually be blasted on the cars when they going by. Oh, man. This is where Casanova was living with his sister. This is how we met him. He was bad as hell. He was about 16 years old or whatever. But yeah, this is where he used to live right mm -hmm. here. When him and his sister would go through it, he would come stay with my mom and my sisters and brothers. You know, that's my bro. Love him. We are in Louis Morris Apartments, 1749 Grand Concourse in the Bronx. This right here is where I was raised at in this house. Um, seven kids with my mother, and we had to share a room because there's only three bedrooms in here, or whatever. But what I remember from here is a lot. Like, you know, I was raised by my brothers, so they was real wild doing a lot of shit. And one of them is in jail for 30 years, oh, sure. another one's still in the streets. But this right here, these steps is where I found my my niche. Like, sitting on these steps, I used to be sitting on these steps all the time by myself. Thinking, writing, getting into it. And it just brings back so much memories. It makes me so emotional. I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> like, my father wasn't here. He left when I was like two. And um, what I remember is a lot of shootings, a lot of killings. I came off this elevator one day, me and my mom's, and we was going to the store. And we came off the elevator, and it was guys dressed in black with um, ski masks on. And they were shooting in the hallway. Mm. And I saved my mother's life. I was about 10 years old. I walked out the elevator first, and she grabbed me. I mean, I grabbed her, pushed her back, and it, they had AK-47s, automatic weapons. They was actually looking for my brother. And that mm. day changed. Ever since that day, we moved to Jersey. So we don't live here anymore. We moved to Jersey. A lot of shit happened here. But when I moved to Jersey, is when I started to get into the music more. When I was living here, you know, I was playing ball and stuff like that. But I moved to Jersey and started getting into the music more. Um, because just I just feel like I just gotta save my family for some for some odd reason. I don't know. I just feel like if I don't make it, we're never gonna make it. You know, like when you come from a place like this, it's very hard to have a bigger vision. And so, you know, just out here grinding, 
Lincoln, trying to do my thing because I already know I'm gonna make it. Nelson is right there. We in High Bridge. It's a little, it's a little different over here, but kind of the same. I had a similar she experience. So we in High Bridge right now in the Bronx, 167 of Ogden behind you. Right here is High Bridge Projects. Um, this is where like A Boogie, Cardi B is from. She I know a couple of niggas over here that's mad motherfucking talented. Legend 67, shout out the West Side Part A, shout out the John V, shout out to everybody in High Bridge. Thank you. Do we come this way or we go? You know what I mean? Oh. Where you going? We trying to go to the, the front of the building. The front of the building? Yeah. Alright. All right. section of the Bronx. I feel like my block in this block is more legendary in Cortland. Shout out to Cortland. Shout out to Dove City. So that's all right there. The project start right there. Where are we going? I mean, around. Oh, we on the back of the block? Come on. Oh, we came through the building. That's why. Say what you want about the Bronx, but we up. Shout out to Harlem, shout out to the Bronx, shout out to Brooklyn, shout out to Queens. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to New York, period. I'm not throwing no shade to nobody, but whatever, take it how you want to take it. But I don't say Staten Island when I speak of New York. No. I'm just saying. Yeah, no shade, hey, no tea, but you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be able to speak to y'all if I knew somebody from there. I don't know nobody from there. That's our free bank scrap. Lick it up. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope okay, you this was really interesting. Sorry if I was silent most of the time. It's because I was actually really paying attention. I was really into it uh, because I've never seen projects look like this before. They have really tall buildings, and they're really close together. So it was just interesting to see, you know, a different type of hood. Side note, when I'm watching a lot of these other reaction videos, I'm only partially paying attention because I'm aware that y'all watching me, and I know you just don't want to see me sitting here being completely quiet the whole time. So I try to engage with y'all and talk you know as much as I can while still paying attention but it's, it's hard to do both because when I'm watching something and paying attention I'm completely silent like I'm not worried about having to talk to anybody you know what I mean so I, I can't give things my complete focus if I'm not quiet and actually paying attention so that's why I forget a lot of the stuff I watch. That's why I will miss a lot of shit. It's because y'all watching me, all right? I'm multitasking, y'all. You won't know unless you do reaction videos. Anyway, um, but yeah, when I'm really, really quiet, it's because I'm actually watching and paying attention. So um, yeah, this was a really interesting video though. And hearing her experience about, you know, them having to move after their building getting shot up, that reminded me of my own experience. I'm sure I mentioned this in other videos, but I was born and partially raised here here in LA. Um, I've mentioned things about my childhood before. I don't feel the need to repeat, but 
Uh, There's a lot of crazy shit happening in my childhood. And um, we ended up getting robbed at one point. And that was like the last straw for my mom. And she was like, all right, we need to get the fuck up out of here. And then that is when we moved to the Bay Area. And then, you know, I spent several years in the Bay. But then I moved back here um, in L.A. for college. And I've been here ever since. But, um, yeah, we had that, you know, traumatic experience. And it was just like, okay, this is getting out of hand. This is a lot of shit. It's probably time to go. You know, when crazy shit keep happening and you feel like your life might be in jeopardy, your loved ones are in jeopardy, you get to a point where you're like, all right, let's, let's move. <laughs> like, clearly being here is the safest. So I completely related to that. But yeah, this was really interesting seeing, you know, NYC hoods. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about it. Let me know what other videos you want me to watch, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.